This video documents Mars rover opportunity for the year 2011. As you can see using Google Mars, we can zoom in on the planet, look at the rover's actual path that it's roved, and stop at different locations along the way. We're going to drop in 2008 real quickly at Victoria Crater to show you some of the neat features that Google Mars brings. They have these little cameras mounted that sh have panoramic photos that you can zoom into and pan around. Victoria Crater is about 800 meto meters, a half a mile in diameter. Opportunity first reached the crater in 2006, September. We'll swing around here and we're going to zoom into another location down on this edge here where the rover went down into the crater, Lyle Panorama. Duck Bay on the western portion of the Victoria Crater and the far side of the crater lies about 800 meters away. Cape Verde here is about 6 meters tall. We'll zoom around to Cabo Frio. Pan around over to the right. Cabo Frio is about 15 meters tall. The change in tones are a result of combining frames that were affected by dust on the rover's camera. Now I'm going to show you an interesting feature that is in Google Mars and Google Earth that allows you to change the opacity of the overlay photos from the rover onto the high-rise images that are loaded into Google Mars. As you can see, as we change it back, they are very close and the rover photos bring more detail. Now let's zoom out and take a look up the hill or the side of the crater that the rover came down. You can see its tracks right there. And even take a look back on itself show you the panels and different instruments that are aboard Opportunity. Okay, we're going to jump up out of Victoria Crater and make our way down the path that Opportunity has traveled and eventually make our way up to the year 2011 see as the rover walks its path the number of kilometers that it has traveled different locations each of the dots represent a sol or one day one Martian day Our first stop in 2011 will be at Santa Maria Crater, Sol 2468. This crater has a diameter of about the length of a football field. We're looking eastward across the crater. This mosaic was assembled from multiple frames taken by the panoramic camera. We will now roll forward 17 days to the impact field that was nicknamed after the spacecraft of NASA's Mercury program, Friendship 7 and Freedom 7, in honor of the 50th anniversary of the first American into space, Alan Shepard. Opportunity drove between these two craters.
finish taking a look at these craters and move forward 10 days, 2595, the interesting crater called Skylab. As we complete the look at Skylab, we're going to roll forward 26 days to a mosaic of a young crater named Gemini 5. The route took her to the northern edge of Gemini 5 crater, stopping midway to take a few photos. In this second photo, you will see Endeavor Crater off in the distance. We're now going to roll forward 24 days to Salt 2645 through 2649, the 4th of July holiday here on Earth. On 2645, the rover ran 162 meters. That's July 3rd. On July 7th, which is Sol 2649, the rover ran for 141 meters. We'll now move forward 21 days to a mound named Pathfinder after the Pathfinder mission to Mars. The white pin indicates Pathfinder Crater, which was named after the American spacecraft that landed on Mars in 1997. It consisted of a lander, renamed the Carl Sagan Memorial Station, in a lightweight, only 23-pound wheeled robotic rover named Sojourn. We will wheel forward a few days and get a couple snapshots of Endeavor Crater coming into picture in the distance. And now we'll move ahead to 26. 81. Here, Opportunity crosses the boundary into the geological rim of the giant crater Endeavor. It's been a 21 and a half kilometer cross plains trek of the Meridium Planum. On August 19th, Opportunity examined Tisdale 2. This rock is unlike any rock the rover has ever examined. It's a type of rock that has broken fragments of older rocks that are fused together. Tisdale 2 is about 30 centimeters tall. Opportunity's robotic arm took numerous microscopic images of this boulder. We jump into day 2703 to take a panoramic view of the enormous Endeavor Crater. We'll now jump forward seven days to 2710 to take another panoramic view of Endeavor Crater, this version being a colorized version. We'll now move forward 25 days where Opportunity took some stunning panoramic images of a boulder field dubbed Kirkland Lake among other rocks and outcrop. A very nice colorized version of Kirkland Lake. Now we're going to roll down the edge of Endeavor Crater and move forward a few days past Shoemaker Ridge and end up at Sol 2770 on November 8th of 2011, positioned in front of Deadwood. Opportunity began a quick, systematic inspection of the bedrock. After reviewing the bed bedrock, on November 29th, Opportunity has located the second Winter Haven candidate 
It's maybe two or three rover widths wide and maybe as much as four long. But it appears to have slopes that may be as high as 18 degrees, which is good for powering up the batteries. Now that the rover has located its winter resting spot on day 2804, she rests aboard the hill at an 18 degree angle, sufficient angle for collecting energy during the Martian winter. Now we can zoom out and take a look back at the entire journey that the Mars rover Opportunity has taken. Thank you to everyone and all those who provided images for this presentation.